What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another deck profile here on TG University for the Universe's card game. My name is Tam, and today we're going to be going over the Kin One Dot deck that was in our Ultra Rare Challenge Campus Championship. Let's jump in. All right, everybody. So this is the Kin One Dot deck that we took for the Ultra Rare Challenge Campus Championship. Um, the main Ultra Rare it was playing was Ice Dragon Serio, and the reason is is this card already has stun three. And Ken says, uh, your turn, discard one card, your attack gets stunned two. And then Ice Dragon says, freeze any foundation committed by this ability, this card's stun ability. So uh, what freeze, the mechanic freeze says, is that it does not ready during my opponent's next ready step. So with these two cards combined, it is a stun five, freeze five. In addition to that, it says, commit a foundation if your attack is not blocked, draw one card. So uh, basically, increasing the difficulty by plus one says that my opponent needs to block it in order to uh, to not let me get a bunch of value. It is this game of cat and mouse, though, with Ken's ability of commit a foundation, because if they draw, if they if they block, you did not get to draw that card, and uh, you committed an additional foundation, which means your turn might be over a little sooner. So um, I'm going to leave both of these down here so I get to reference them, um, and we're just going to uh, talk about... Oh, I, we played four Ice Dragons, if that wasn't clear. Uh, and we'll talk about them uh, as they need to come up. So into the... Uh, <clears throat> Into the assets, we play double ID Blade. This is mainly just lose two vitality, look at the top card of your deck, to even know if we want to attempt to draw it or not, right? Um, I commit an extra foundation and then draw a card, and if uh, the revealed card has two or fewer keywords, you get two speed. Sounds great in a deck that very much wants you to, to not block. In addition to that, Desperation, commit, draw one card. Very good after the response lose two. Oh, that's a good card. All right, I'll, I'll commit this and, and pick it up. Uh, very you, ver versatile card. Um, I suggest playing it in decks that want to just combo really hard. That was the only asset onto the action for Let's Cut Loose. This says uh, draw one random, draw one uh, block, or move a foundation that I want on a kill turn. Very good with Ken because he wants to commit foundation, so building out a, a, a readied foundation in order to ke let him keep going in. Very, very strong in this deck. Um, in addition to that, picking up blocks is super good, not to mention it's a six. So, like, good card, good stats all around. I highly suggest you playing it. Onto the attacks. We're playing Double Reduction. This card is, I'm just going to say it, not fair. Uh, while it's in the card pool, all your attacks get 2-2, two, 2-speed, two, two 2 damage. Um, and that's really the main purpose of the card in the deck, is playing this and then giving your Ice Dragon Siryu 2-2, two, two, or playing these big long strings and giving them all 2-2, two, two, including Stun 2. Um, it's just it's just super, super strong. Um, I, I highly recommend people messing around with this card. Uh, it, it is good, and it's going to only stay good. Um, we're playing four Syndicate Slice. So this is a hybrid weapon build, as you'll see. Um, Syndicate Slice gets real cheap later with the 2-2 two, two and with the extra stun. Um, this card is a damned if you do, damned if you don't card in Kin. Uh, Kin says if you don't block, you draw a card, and Syndicate Slice says if you do block, you draw a card. So to make this a 5-diff, or at Desperation make it a 3-diff, we get to automatically draw a card, and with Ivy Blade we get to see what that card is. Card's super good, only has two, two keywords. Um, we're playing Triple Curse Splat, also a weapon, also a reversal that says commit if my attack is not blocked, I draw a card, so I can commit a card and draw an extra card on defense if they don't block my Curse Splat. It deals uh, extra damage, and it says my next card doesn't count towards progressive, so I can play these later strings. Imagine playing three cards deep, playing the Curse Splat, and then playing the Ice Dragon at the very end. Very, very good ability. Onto one of the big bombs of the deck, Face Splitter, combo enhance with a weapon card. This attack is one speed and one damage for each weapon attack in your card pool. So, uh... These two cards are the only two non-weapons in the deck, but Reduction does face Splitter's job, but better. Reduction says 2-2 two, two on all of your stuff, where um, uh, Ice Dragon does not. So it's a it's a little hit or miss when it comes to trying to combo out these cards, but stun 5 and then extra a bunch of damage is, is super good. And then my last card is Steel Resurrection. Steel Resurrection says it gets minus one difficulty for each weapon card preceding it in your card pool, which says as I play it later and later on in the strings, if I've got it, if I played this Steel Resurrection, it would be on a five. And then as I play this Steel Resurrection, it's on a five plus one minus one because of its ability. So on a five, on a five, on a five. And this is 20 damage by itself. Where this does get a little tricky is this does not count 
four reduction. So now this one would be on a six, on a six, on a six, on a six. Or if we have an ice dragon in our card pool, it's on a uh, seven, 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 seven. So we do have to be careful whenever we're playing our steel reses because we do have a hybrid weapon build. But this card is still very, very good if you can find it late chain, especially with a curse blat. If you have steel res in a curse blat, you auto pass the steel res because it doesn't count towards progressive and it gets minus one difficulty for each of them. Very good card. On to the foundations. The way that I order my foundations is at four ofs down to one ofs, just for the importance of the deck. Um, we have four Orphan Alchemists. Uh, mainly this checks a six. It's a good spam. I can flip it, reveal the top card of my deck, and see if I want to draw it with Ken. Um, it also feels good discarding this card in order to... Uh, I don't feel bad. I don't feel like I need to have this card on my board. Uh, so I don't mind discarding it for the stun two ability. The other four of the deck is the original Mecha Ninja. This is just free stats as well as extra build. The main thing is it gets makes my face splitters really, really big, or it helps me run with my uh, help me run with my steel resin better. But this is a weapon card, and so I'm allowed to play this foundation and then play a steel res and get extra bonuses to my check. This card makes up for the ice dragon and the reduction being in the card pool. Playing three Sadist, uh, this is a very aggressive deck, and so the form destroy my opponents at desperation. Um, not necessarily relevant, but the uh, first form flip, if my opponents at desperation draw two cards, I can add a card from my hand to my momentum. It's, it's fine, but the draw two is very, very strong here. <clears throat> three English Aristocrat. Uh, all of, a lot of my cards only have two keywords. And so smacking them for extra speed stun, extra speed on my Ice Dragon is very good. Oh, I guess it, uh, Ice Dragon doesn't get extra speed, my apologies. Um, but the last thing is if this card uses use it to flip and look at the top card of my deck, I get to gain three life. Very good. Pretty okay, pretty okay. Next three of is Stolen Sword. After I play this card, my opponent commits a foundation, and then if I reveal any weapon card, the next weapon foundation I play would move down into my staging area. Note, this does not work on blocks. It only has to be played, only when I play it as a, uh, as a form does this work. Triple Girl's Victory Pose. I cannot have my character get bang or revoked. Having my Ice Dragons stun or the freeze all of them get revoked is atrocious. It is the linchpin of my deck, and so I can't have that happen. I have to play with Girl's Victory Pose. Three Fallen Angels. I am playing a bad check because of my two, and this is a free build, free playable commit, free discard if I want it to, as well as a good low block. This card's just good all around when it comes to all three of these symbols. Very... The card text does not seem very good on the surface, but the utility in the game is uh, outstanding when it comes. This card is very, very underrated under non-desperation evil decks. Definitely be looking to play this if you're running, if you're missing low blocks in decks. Speaking of more low blocks, we've got triple fei fei, just speed reduction. Speed reduction, and then on my opponent's, on my turn, I get to commit it as a face down in order to draw more cards. Three profane sanctuary, once again, more spam. If my opponent plays a breaker, which I don't want them to happen, I can cancel, and then I can flip and uh, discard the top two cards in my deck. Combos really well with the Ivy Blade, because I get to look at the top card. Maybe it's an attack, maybe it's an, an Ice Dragon. Eh, let's just get it off of there. It doesn't... That's okay. I don't want to... I don't want to commit any cards to try and draw it. Maybe uh, they're posturing that they're going to block. Let's just... Let's just get it gone. Playing three Telekinetic Mastery that says, after your opponent does a speed or damage increase, check a six, reduce it by... Reduce the speed or damage by two. So if they increase speed, I can reduce damage. If they increase damage, I can reduce speed, or vice versa. I can touch any stat that they touch. Very good versus, like, Rando, um, who gives one one, so you just check twice, check twice, check twice, check twice. You can potentially give minus 12 damage or minus 12 speed if you commit every... If you pass all of these checks. Very, very good. On the two O's, we got double power cycle. This submit card is 100% here just to add back reduction. Reduction works while it's in the card pool, not as it's played as a form. And so as we play the card, we play our ice dragon and then add the reduction in when my ice dragon gets the 2 2 because this is all my other cards. Very useful. Um, be on the lookout for a bunch of all decks playing this combo. Playing not over until you die. This card is super, super rad, especially with Ken's uh, free draw. If you're, they're posturing that they're not going to block it, maybe I flip at an Ice Dragon for next turn, and then they don't block, I, I uh, flip at it and then commit it with Ken in order to say that I can pick something up. Very, very cool one-card double ability combo. One Wandering Pirate, because of Ken's ability, I can commit a foundation and then ready another foundation, and then at the start of my turn, we ready this and then that again. Um... 
True Identity, I want to be able to play more cards. This card committing makes up for the fact that Steel Res sometimes does not completely ignore progressive. And so I can form commit this and now my Steel Res is when I have to check a 6, I check my 5 and then it becomes a 6. So I went ahead and committed my one card in order to help the cards in the future. Spicy one of Season Guide. I like this card a lot because it tells it's a free Ivy Blade. I get to look and see what's there, but it doesn't have a block, so there's that to worry about. One Burning with Revenge for kind of the same reason. It's very good stun hate as well as while it's in my card pool. I can play it in my card pool and then do some real cheeky stuff with it there. One Sense of Morals, stun hate as well as not counting towards progressive. And then lastly, a Sun's Love. First form, commit, draw one card. Your opponent may add the top card of the deck to their momentum, and if they do so, draw a card. E removed as attack loses safe. We do play a couple. We do play a reversal in here as Chris Platt. Maybe that might be relevant. But the main part is form, commit, auto draw that card. This card is Ken's ability, but this just says my opponent can add a momentum and maybe I can draw an extra one. All right, so that was the Ken One Dot deck with Ice Dragon Siryu. Uh, be on the lookout for the rest of our campus championship profiles. They're the team here. The the stu the Sorry, the staff uh, came up with some really, really cool deck ideas. I, I like the, uh, the challenge that I gave them and the answers that they, they put down. So, from all of us here at TCGU, stay alert.